Okay, so just a couple of minutes now on the different causes for breast lumps or presentation to the breast clinic. That could be breast lumps, it could be pain uh, to a certain extent, or it could be discharge from the nipple. And there are many different causes and um, age is important factor uh, in actual fact. Um, but let's just go through them. Um, so sort of from the top, well, fibrocystic change in the top left uh, sort of changes in association with uh, hormonal fluctuations in periods. Um, <clears throat> ductectasia, this is a condition associated with uh, dilation of the ducts behind the nipple and it's probably more common as women tend to get a little bit a little bit older. Fibroadenomas, the classic breast mouse as it were which is highly mobile and tends to affect younger patients, uh, sort of a rubbery kind of uh, lump uh, on palpation. Obviously breast cancer, uh, which tends to be more common as women age. Um, in association with um, pregnancy, you've got top right, we've got the galactoseal, which is a benign cystic tumor containing uh, milk associated with breastfeeding. And sort of pregnancy in general can cause uh, changes in the breast, which can sort of lead to symptoms of uh, uh, discomfort sometimes and sometimes lumps or uh, areas of concern <clears throat> in that respect too. Um, fat necrosis, this is where often it's associated with having previously had surgery and fatty tissue becomes hard and lumpy if it's not got sufficient blood supply. Uh, a duct uh, papilloma can be a cause for another cause for uh, bloody uh, nipple discharge. Bloody nipple discharge is, is a concern and um, it should generally be sort of investigated further as it can be an indication of, of cancer. Um, cysts within the breast, which can kind of come up quite quickly sometimes, tend to affect slightly older women, probably after the age of 35. And then, of course, abscesses, um, which can occur, infection and abscesses, which can occur. And don't forget tuberculosis, which, which can occasionally be the cause, although that's rarer. And, of course, other conditions that affect the skin, so all those subcutaneous tissues, so sebaceous cysts and so on, uh, or, or lipomas, simply benign fatty lumps in the skin and shingles and so on. Okay, so that's a quick uh, run through of the different causes, sorry, the different causes of breast lumps. And that's a, a picture which is unlabeled. And was, and I always encourage you to look at the unlabeled picture. Just go through those causes. Just cast your eyes over this. Cancer, cysts, fibroadenomas, etc., etc. And, and hopefully that information, you can recall it much more easily in your mind's eye. Um, all of these diagrams, they're available in the app which is called Picturing MD and it's available on the App Store. The website is www.picturingmedicine.com.